Hi traders, today we've got a guest instructor and that is Sandra from Trading Made Simple and she's going to show us how to set alerts on Think or Swim. Today we're going to talk about uh, setting up a different type of alert based on maybe an EMA crossing or an RSI crossing. I recently uh, did a video on an alert system on a trend line and that seemed to be uh, pretty popular. So what I wanted to do was just follow up to show you again some additional tools that's at your disposal on TOSS. And I really like this tool and I use it often. So let's as an example say that I like the 5 and 8 EMA crossings, exponential moving average crossings, or I like the RSI and I use, you know, over 50, below 70 as an example. Uh, to look at overbought and oversold levels. If you are that type of trader, then this is going to be so helpful. Because what you can do in TOS is set that alert for when those crossovers happen. And you can do multiple crossovers if all of those thresholds have been met. And so this really makes your watch list even more dynamic. Because if you're like me and you only maybe look at 10 symbols and those are the only 10 symbols you really look at and chart and create trend lines and want to know what's happening then this could keep you abreast no matter if you're at your computer looking at another symbol or you're on the golf course playing some golf so if you're liking the content please subscribe and share and like i really do appreciate it so let's get to it Okay, so just like in our last uh, video that we talked about trend lines, you're just going to go anywhere on your chart and you're going to just right click. When you right click, you say create an alert. When your alert dialog box comes up, you go over to the mark price. You go down the list to study. When you do that, you could see all the different types of recent um, type of studies that I've used to create alerts, but you're going to go to edit. And when you go to edit, you're probably going to have something here that says an SMA crossover, a simple moving average crossover, regardless of what it says, just delete it. Okay, we've deleted that and we have a clean slate. Now I want you to just take a look at this hidden button because you know toss. <laughs> Everything is small, tiny, and hidden and so here you have your conditional setup but this is actually uh, they want to know for what alert do you want to send this to is this for a chart that's an on on a one minute day chart a five minute a one hour a weekly or a monthly chart well you get to choose so this is great whether you're a day trader swing trader or you own common stock and want to be abreast of uh, technical indicators that are going to help you make better decisions. So hopefully if I don't get tongue tied, here we go. So I'm going to keep this on a day chart. Then I'm going to say, I want to add a condition. And what's the condition? Well, it's based on a study and those studies being, let's say, uh, an exponential moving average. So I start typing in exponential and I click it, it automatically defaults to nine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to five. So when five crosses above, crosses above what? Well, it needs to cross over the other exponential moving average of eight. So I need to go and say steady. And again, type in the same thing, exp to come up with moving average exponential. Once I click that, the nine is always the default. I'm going to click this to eight. So when the five crosses above the eight on a daily chart, I want to be notified. Hit save. It's right there. Could I change this now to a one hour and, and do that instead? Absolutely your choice. You could see how you could possibly go hog wild with this. So now you go over here to your set alerts and 
it will, you know, ring a bell or a chime or no sound, whatever you program it to do. And if this is one of those stocks uh, on a small handful list that you keep track of, you may want to just say create an alert for the reverse crossover, which means that each time your favorite EMAs are crossed over on this ticker symbol on that date, whether it be a minute chart or a day chart, it will then alert you. And so this is a great way to keep track of your most favorite stocks for any time period. Now, once I hit yes, and then I'm going to unclick silent because maybe I do want to hear it when I'm um, out and about. I'm going to hit apply settings and then I'm going to hit OK. And when I do that, your regular menu pops up and you're going to leave yourself a note because maybe you have several different alerts on Amazon. And so on this one, I'm going to say EMA cross. Up. Okay. And then uh, it says to notify me with sounds. So let's see, send a text, push notifications to mobile device. Perfect. All right. Once you take a look at that, make sure everything is there. Just hit create. And now you have an alert that's set for the EMA crossover on Amazon on a day chart. And you can see that that is just about to cross over. Now, if you wanted to make sure, because as you can see, I think this is based on price. Yes, this, this alert is based on a price. So you'll notice that there is no marker on your chart with this type of alert. So if you wanted to just make sure you had your alerts proper, you could go to your market watch tab and then just go to your alerts and then all your alerts are going to come up. And then you can see the last ones that I've created was for Amazon with the reverse crossover. It says it's currently false, which means that the five is not over the eight at this time. When that becomes true, it will then alert me. All right. So in essence, then you could do this for an RSI crossover. You could do this for any study that you have going on already that's listed right here in your hourglass under studies you can identify any of these items that you like using on the chart you can use it as an alert system to get a hold of you when your uh, stock is doing something noteworthy that you want to know about i certainly hope this helps you make a little money save a little money and we'll see you on the next video